This is a country that has not had a government, a centralized functioning government for 20 years, and yet there have been ways that assistance has reached the people. And so despite the, that particular challenge of, of working and, and delivering aid, it has worked, and we continue to see um, rel relatively uh, decent measures of success, but it's not enough. And so it's funding that is the first challenge. It's accessing those people, and it's also being able to respond in a way that is creative and flexible for the kind of environment we're talking about when it comes to Somalia. We fear that in the next six months, we'll see this famine continue to worsen. Um, and the response that we're doing in Kenya and in Ethiopia for Somalia is, is a short-term response. It is just to save lives, and we can't even assure that those lives will be able to be rebuilt because they've spent their lives in a camp. So what's needed is, in the future, is the international community having an agenda that also includes a long-term response. The lack of long-term economic development in this region has meant that we've seen a series of short-term humanitarian interventions and emergency responses, and a failure to really establish and, and strengthen the infrastructure for economic development. Um, and what in Dolo Odo and in Dadaab, the overcrowding is, is already at its, at its highest. And the opening of additional camps is, will save lives, but it's not the answer. It's not the permanent answer.